Welcome back to Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog. We're in Labyrinth Zone now. And this is the first stage that introduces the underwater mechanics. Unlike Mario, Sonic cannot swim. Matter of fact, unlike Tails, Sonic can't swim. Have you heard that little beep while I was underwater? That lets you know when you're getting closer to the countdown or when you're about to drown. And the music will change when you're about to drown. And it give, when that music changes, you got five minutes to get out of the water or collect the air bubble. And believe you me, I was glad when they introduced the water shield or bubble shield, really, in Sonic 3. Can I remember a long time ago? I thought having the shield underwater, I wouldn't drown. Boy, was I wrong. As you can tell, Sonic moves rather slowly underwater. Beware of the spikes! Oh crap, I lost my shield. Oh, shoot, the only reason why I'm collecting rings now is just either for protection or the sake of just collecting them to get extra life. You notice right there, the corks float. Use them as you see fit. Oh yeah, when you're using these moving platforms, you want to be careful just in case like there's spikes on the ceiling because if you if it drives you into it, you pretty much die a horrible death. Sixty-one rings and air bubble. Good. I did not feel like drowning. Matter of fact, this is the end. Yep, this is the end. Okay, I did something weird. Hmm. Still collecting points. Cool. Alright, Act 2. More underwater hijinks. Yippee! Oh, a water slide. That looks fun. And that really does look fun. And the invincibility is right where I need it. I, per I prefer the shield, but can't be choice, can I? Gotta be careful here. Those spike balls will hit me. Mm. Sound like my cell phone going off. I'll get to it. Oh, I'm getting swept by. Oh, yeah. This act actually introduces the stupid water currents. You also see that again in Act 3, and won't see that again until Sonic 3. Pretty messed up, ain't it? Alright. This act compared to the first one is rather short. Okay, maybe not. But Act 3 is. I'm going to show you why Act 3 is once I get there. 
Yes, if... Oh, that was just queer. As soon as I get the bits of it, I lose my shield in the process. Thanks, game. Thanks a whole heap. I don't think it's safe to wait for a bubble there. It is here, though. Okay. Thirteen rings away. Whoa! For my extra life. I kind of want one, I ain't gonna lie. Whoa. Ah. Oh no, not again with this. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was close too. I did not want to hit a countdown yet. Wow, two rings away. Be careful here. Time to jump off here. If, like I said, you want to be careful there because if you keep on riding there, you're going to die a horrible death. So you're going to get squished into the spikes, got a one up, and now I'm out. Oh, it won't do the same thing it did last time. Boo. Now, at three, you can make it long or you can make it short. First off here, if you keep on sliding down, past the switch you need to hit, that area is going to continue to loop. I guess... Ah, oh, that was dumb. Anyway. I guess y'all wonder why I said... You can make this zone. You can make this ad either long or short. Here's a shortcut. If I take the upper route, it's gonna take a while. Yes, I'll pass through a lot of. I pass. Pass through a. Pass that. I can't talk. Damn. Anyway. Yes, you'll pass through a lot of checkpoints. But it's gonna take for a finish. This. Uh oh. Oh, that was close. That's what I'm talking about when the music changes. You start saying five, four, three, two, one. If it hits zero, you drown and you lose a life. Anyway. You're only gonna pass through one checkpoint taking this route. And that's the one closest to the boss. See? I'm already here. That's the only checkpoint you're gonna pass through. Now you don't wanna stay on that cork unless you wanna get squashed. Keep moving up. I know there's a shield here somewhere. Water's still rising. I'm not going to ask what happened there. Yes, there's a shield. Okay. Time to face Eggman. This is not even a fight, really. It's more like... The race to the top. Okay, maybe not exactly a race to the top. But... Just surviving until you get to the top. And there's no air bubbles on the way up. If you get knocked all the way down, you, you might as well say you're pretty much screwed. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. Alright, next time on Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog.
we actually go through my favorite zone of the game Starlight Zone this is DSJ Revival 1 see you guys later